Just a quick reminder for all of you out there that think, hey, I'm having a really bad day. Just remember, someone's always having a worse day. That was a semi-trailer truck that backed up out of a driveway, right into a ditch, and was stuck. Done and done. Anyway, let's get on to this carpet game here. What is good? It's Carpet Mike here from CarpetExpertBlueprint.com, and we are working with the cheapest plush carpet on planet Earth. I sell mountains of this stuff consistently. My clients love it. So here is how you do a seam in cheap plush carpet. Go ahead and take a super sharp blade, run it down that carpet there, getting a nice clean edge on it. Why would you want a clean edge? Because if you have a jacked up factory edge, it will look horrific if you try to use that as your seam edge. Next, we're gonna just go and make a couple little incisions in the carpet here, marking it all the way down so we know exactly where our seam's gonna fall. Get to the other side, then now we're gonna pull back the first piece. Now we're gonna pull, who, man, move your hand there. What's wrong with you? Anyway, pull back the second piece here, Take the blade. Oh, I hate when people be stepping on my seams when I'm trying to work. Ugh. Anyway, <laughs> we're going to connect from dot to dot to dot. Just going right across there. We're cutting a nice clean edge. Now, if you are new to this, go ahead and take a straight edge and line up all those little incisions you made and just run your blade along this. That'll give you a nice, clean, straight edge to seam to, and life will be good. I think I'm, I'm pretty much arguing with whoever had their hand in their way. I don't know who that was. We got beef now. It's all bad. Anyway, anyway, let, let's get back to the seam here. So I'll fold that back over. I'm going to finish going from dot to dot here, getting a nice clean edge on everything. Boom, boom. We're clipped all the way through. Life is good. Going to trim it along the wall there so I can just tuck it right in as soon as I'm done. Let's go ahead and get some seam tape under this once we know everything's lined up. Boom, that looks real good. Get the seam iron cooking. Get some seam tape. I'm going to go ahead and unroll that the length of the doorway. And it looks like we have the perfect amount, basically, to go ahead and burn that seam. Nice when life just works out in your favor there. Unlike the semi-truck sitting in the ditch right now. All bad for them, but that's okay. Things happen. They'll get past it. Now I'll roll that tape all the way down. Fold it under at the other end. Boom, boom. We're door jam to door jam. Life is good. And go ahead and get the seam iron. Bring that into the picture here. Lift up one side. Slide the seam iron into place. Super basic stuff, but for those of you that don't know, this is how it's done. Anybody could be a carpet guy after this video here. So, we'll let that sit there for about 8 to 10 seconds. We're going to slide it forward. Slowly, you want to make sure that glue is melting evenly behind it. Go ahead, it's cool man. Step on the seam some more. That's how we get them to stick together. Life is good. Moving the iron's length forward. Glue's nice and melted. We're going to put together the first half of that. Now, when you're putting the seam together, do not let those carpet fibers fall down into the glue. It'll look like a hot mess. Just get that backing to backing. Trim up any hairs that might be popping through. And on this cheap carpet, there is not a shortage of that going on. It's just a stringy mess. Go ahead and take it to the other end there. Blend it in real proper like using your fingers because what better tool than the hands you're given. Tuck it in the one side. Now we're gonna go ahead and get ready to slide that seam iron out and finish putting this together. So when sliding out, you gotta give a little swoop action here. Watch what I do, because if you don't do that, the seam tape could come with it. You'll get glue all over the carpet and it'll be all bad. Watch that swoop. Wait for it, swoop. Life's good. Put that into place, put the seam together, and boom. You just got paid to become a carpet installer there. So go out and take action on this. I hope this video helped you here. Any questions about the carpet and flooring industry, comment below and I'll hang out with you in the next video.